the quickest way to define limnology is inland oceanography. Physical limnologists are generally concerned with how the physics and the motions of a water body interact with, with the biology and the chemistry. Biological limnology deals more with phytoplankton and the fish that feed on them and the invertebrates that grow in the uh, sediments. The physics of lakes really control what the environment is exposed to. So the algae that grow in the lake, the fish that are there, they feel the water temperature that's controlled by the physics, they're moved by the currents that's controlled by the physics. Even the light exposure they get is a function of how much wind stirring is happening, whether they're moved down to the bottom or whether they're brought up in a current. It's all tied to the physics. Hi everybody, welcome to TB3, out here in the middle of Lake Tahoe. We're probably above the deepest point of the lake in about 1,500 feet of water, and it's been here in this location for about the last 10 years. This is the thermistor chain, and these are the thermistors. Uh, we have them spaced, in this case, at about 18 inch intervals. It goes, in some cases, uh, down to the bottom of the lake. What they tell us is how the water's moving. We can get a picture of how temperature is changing from the surface all the way to the bottom. Okay, this is the meteorological station at Buoy TB3. In these white housings, we measure temperature and relative humidity. The anemometers at the top measure wind speed and direction. This is our Secchi disc. I'm going to lower it down into the lake and it'll tell me a relative clarity. It's what we use to measure clarity in Lake Tahoe. So I set it down onto the surface. Then I need to make sure our meter wheel up here is zeroed because that'll tell me how much line has gone out and how deep our reading is. As the disc starts to go down, it's very sharp and clear. When it gets down deeper, it becomes more like a glow and someone shining a light at me from a long ways away. Right there, that's where it disappeared. Looks like 20 meters. That's right around our average reading right now at Lake Tahoe, about 70 feet. This is our zooplankton net. I'm gonna drop the net down 150 meters. That's over 300 feet. Okay, the net should be coming into view pretty soon. So this net has just filtered the zooplankton out of a column of water from Lake Tahoe. And they're all captured down in the plastic cup at the end of the net. So I have the zooplankton in our sampling cup that came off the net. I'm going to pour them into this viewer that we keep on the boat, take a look at what species are here in the lake. I'm expecting to see the bright red dioptimus that we normally have, and also Epichura, both of which are native species to Tahoe. This is a drogue. It's a white kite that we place in the water and it gets moved by the currents. So whichever way the currents are moving, it transports uh, the drogue with it. What it tells us is what the currents are doing in Lake Tahoe at any particular time at the location of the drogue. So we can measure their direction, we can measure their speed, uh, and that tells us what's being carried by the currents. This is our seabird instrument. We basically run this down to the bottom of the lake basically a wire cage packed full of scientific instruments that measure different parameters in the water quality in Lake Tahoe. So as I run this down through the water column, a pump continually pumps water through all the different instruments and it collects readings as it goes all the way to the bottom of the lake. We can measure the temperature, the depth, the conductivity, the chlorophyll, and even the clarity using a laser on this instrument alone. Tahoe is one of the most beautiful lakes in the world. It has this cobalt blue color. It has this wonderful transparency. It's a totally remarkable, unique environment. And I think people look to Tahoe as a 
guide to saving their lakes. The limnological studies there have really been a major influence on world thinking about protecting lakes.